Hey guys. Well, I haven't done a teardown video as of yet. So I figured this would be a good subject to start with. It's a dental x-ray head from 1979. It should have a uh, 100 kV transformer inside it. It's pretty big for a dental head. And it is ridiculously heavy at uh, 60 pounds. So I'll start by removing this uh, whole mounting yoke assembly and see what's underneath the shell. It's got a few set screws on this ring here. Pull those out. Spins pretty freely. Quite a few threads. Oh man. Look at that. Interesting. I'll set that aside. So these are obviously the leads going into the transformer and the filament. Another one on this side. Looks around. Interesting piece of hardware. Flip that around. This other one here.
this should uh, pull off now. It's pretty solid. So underneath that mounting bracket, it appears as though there's a few more screws, or four more on each side. There's little plates here. Let's go ahead and take those out. Probably isn't the most interesting video I've taken, but I thought it was really cool and I wanted to share it with you because it's not something you see too often. Okay, let's see what's underneath the hood. Whoops, wrong way. <laughs> That's a heck of a lot of lead. Zoom in on that for you. It's the whole seam of solder. So I've taken the camera out of the tripod for a second to show you guys something. Although I won't be using the x-ray tube, I do like to keep them because they do look really cool. So unfortunately, during shipping, it would appear as though the tube for this particular transformer has shattered. So I discovered that by tipping this over. So let me know if you can hear this in the video or not. I'm going to try and tip this head over. You can actually hear the glass pieces floating. Try it again. So hopefully you can hear that. I definitely hear glass rattling around metal. Ah, uh, oh well. At least you guys would be able to see the carnage when I tear it open. <laughs> so since this video is getting to be about 8 minutes long, I'm going to uh, split it into two parts. So that way it will give me some time to get a container big enough to handle the oil that is uh, within this head here. Get a chisel sharp enough to break these solder seams. Well alright guys, I look forward to showing you the second part of this video as I get this mess sorted here. <laughs> Thank you all again for watching. Stay safe and take care.